Hello, this is uh, Pellet Stove Master here uh, with a setup to test a low limit switch. Um, we have a low limit switch from a St. Croix, which is a surface mount with the uh, little tabs on it. So it touches the surface of the side of the exhaust blower. There are other types of mounts that go into the exhaust blower. But they all basically work the same. Um, to make this setup easier, we have a, um, a regular Klein Tools meter here set to beep when there is a closed circuit or it shows continuity. Now, to not ruin the leads of the meter, we just cut them apart and put on some male quick disconnects on the leads and the females going into the meter so that we can easily clip the females onto the part that we're testing. Now the way this works of course is when the stove gets hot the switch closes and turns on the convection blower and acts as a proof of fire which uh, when the stove goes into run mode, it senses the heat from the fire and keeps the power going to the auger motor. If there was no heat sensed, then of course it would not turn on the convection blower and it would stop power going to the auger motor and the stove would safely shut down. So the best way to test this using a barbecue lighter is just to apply some heat onto the um, area that is connected to the exhaust blower housing and as you can hear from the beep, the switch is now closed. So this um, low limit switch is working properly. As the uh, switch cools down, then it will go back to the open circuit and um, you will not get any more continuity. So it's a, a really good way to test it, to know if it's working. Of course, you can easily test for continuity uh, when the stove is running by removing the two wires connected to the low limit switch and putting just a continuity tester or an ohm meter across the two terminals. And if you get zero ohms or continuity then you know the switch is also properly working so for now this is your pellet stove master um, with the tip on low limit switches um, good testing and good luck with your stoves thank you